General Motors and the President at odds over jobs and tax incentives. Now there's news that GM is working overtime to keep those incentives alive. The 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith tells us the fight comes in the wake of the news of GM's plans to close several plants. One of those plants that could close as a reaction of all these announcements, Hamtramck, right here in our area. And that puts the stress on hundreds and hundreds of the workers there. It also puts GM in a bad position as the president seems prepared to punish GM for cutting those jobs. Usually the first things they're asking me about is the technology that's implemented in the vehicles. Inside this El Sara Chevy dealership in Southfield, business for electric cars and hybrids is good. They come in, they really want to experience the vehicle, and I'll... Typically, when I have someone at my desk and they come in in this vehicle, nine times out of ten, they're going to take possession. But as locals buy up electric cars, there's a concern on a different level that the government could soon pull tax incentives automakers like GM are relying on. The news last month was a tough pill to swallow. Plants like this one could soon get the axe, and the president isn't happy about it. And I said, you know, this country's done a lot for General Motors. You better get back in there soon. Going one step further online, the president tweeting out, looking at cutting all GM subsidies, including for electric cars. Uh, news out of Washington today is that GM is paying big time lobbyists to keep those incentives alive, even teaming up with competitors like Nissan and Tesla to keep incentives that ultimately drop prices for those buying these cars. All of this as GM's competitors seem ready to deal in other ways. Would you want to buy some of those plants, those factories that they're closing down? You're shaking your head yes? It's possible that we would be interested if we were going to sell a plant or, or not use it, that we would take it over. In a recent interview on 60 Minutes, Tesla's founder talking a different deal. That's potential good news for jobs in our area. But as politicians sort that out and the future of electric, the sale of those cars, motor, er, electrify on. This vehicle will parallel park itself for you. Oh, really? Now there's the futuristic aspect of it. <laughs> Absolutely, sure like yes, that. yes. If you're wondering where all this converges, it really is the politicians. They're all upset with GM for cutting jobs, but at the same time, a lot of them don't want to see these incentives cut if it means it won't help GM stop the bleed, if you will. I did reach out to Senators Gary Peters and Debbie Stabenow for their reaction. Both of them seem to be against the idea of cutting those incentives. We're taking a deeper dive on that over at WXYZ.com. For 7 Action News, I'm Matthew Smith.